I love those do's at Waterstones, don't you? Readings and book signings. All marketing shite, I know, but I still love them. Four quid, glass of wine thrown in, and an hour or two pretending you're part of some intellectual literati instead of the full stop merchant you really are. I'd taken all my copies for Jeanette to sign. Then she'd know I was a committed reader. And there I was, queuing up with a load more English teachers and social workers when I clocked Natalie. It'd been a good 12 months since I put Natalie into a taxi at the end of the sixth form leaving ball. Poot isn't quite the word I'd use to describe it. Natalie had been extricated from my arm by two helpful waitresses and three PE teachers. A big mess of mascara and green tartan taffeta and bundled ignominiously into a minicab back to Blackburn. We all know how she feels about you. So I thought it'd be best to put her on your table, said the head of sixth form sagely the day before. I mean, the guy teaches math, so I wasn't exactly expecting romantic delicacy, but you'd think a certain degree of logic wouldn't be out of the question. Anyway, I turned up with Debbie from Special Needs, and to be honest, I was partway through my Kia Royale before I recognised her. Bloody hell, says Debs. She's come as a box of shortbread. I didn't notice the warning signs. Stupid in retrospect. At first, I thought some malevolent 13-year-old had nabbed all the snaps off me from the photo display of the German exchange. Then my 40% cashmere jumper went missing. She spent a lot of time strolling to the science block past my window. And I knew for a fact she'd dropped chemistry. Then as soon as the mocks were over, I found the letter in my register. I opened it up, calm as you like, in my tutor group, expecting the usual nasty rash or lingering chest infection and no swimming. But no, there was my first name. <laughs> I felt myself getting a bit hot as I took it all in. I thought, oh my God, I can't be found with this. It's the kind of thing the Daily Mail might publish and I'll be straight back to filling up the salad bar at Pizza Hut. I read it twice through just to get a bit more ruffled and, and no sooner had I said, tuck your chairs under, but in she comes, bold as brass, looks me square in the eye. Did you get my letter? She says. <clears throat> um, Yes, yes, thank you. Um, uh, uh, yes, I just had a chance to, um, I gibbered, desperate to insert a hint of professional detachment into my voice. You know, I'm the one that's supposed to be in control and she knew damn well she had me on my back foot. Um, <sighs> leave it with me. Leave it with me, I said haplessly as though she'd asked for a reference for a Saturday job.